get out of here. Unreal Engine is probably the most well-known video game toolset in the world. Its fifth iteration is the system that forms the foundation of Fortnite and dozens of other games, including Black Myth Wukong, the Oblivion Remaster, and the upcoming Witcher 4. But did you know that Unreal Engine is used for more than just making video games? The technology, developed by Epic Games, has also been used to create theme park rides, television shows, and movies, and is fast becoming a regular tool for the entertainment industry. IGM recently attended Unreal Fest in Orlando, where we took a closer look at how Unreal has branched out beyond video games. Taking center stage in Galaxy's Edge, the Star Wars themed section of Disney's parks in Florida and California, is the Millennium Falcon. Head inside as you can ride Smuggler's Run, a simulator experience that lets you pilot the iconic ship. It is genuinely impressive. You and your six-person crew have direct, if limited, control over the Falcon's movements and weapons. And so as you alter the pitch and yaw of the ship, not only does the entire cockpit physically lurch around, your inputs are reflected in the flight path and enemy encounters. All this means that the world beyond on the cockpit's windows isn't just a simple video, it's dynamic and interactive. Simply put, the team at Walt Disney Imagineering have created a video game. Perhaps unsurprisingly, it's built in Unreal Engine. Smuggler's Run is based on a custom version of Unreal Engine 4. This variant is able to support the specialist rendering techniques needed to create the very specific visual sheen of Star Wars. Custom shaders and screen space effects, plus assets taken directly from Industrial Light and Magic's library, are used to ensure Smuggler's Run looks like the CGI sequences from the Star Wars films, rather than a Star Wars video game. It also helps that the simulation is powered by a computer fitted with eight graphics cards, allowing for five interlinked projectors to display the visuals in 3K resolution at 100 frames per second. The current mission used by Smuggler's Run opened in 2019, but a brand new one is currently in development, which is planned to launch alongside The Mandalorian and Grogu in May 2026. This new version is built on Unreal Engine 5, and will offer better visuals, enhanced enemy AI, and more dynamic destruction. The mission will also feature branching pathways, allowing crews to explore either Cloud City, Coruscant, or the wreckage of the Death Star, depending on the flight path they choose. It seems like the idea is to further blur the line between theme park ride and video game, which in turn will enhance the immersive effect of actually commanding the Millennium Falcon. Of course, Smuggler's Run is far from the first Star Wars project to use Unreal Engine in an unconventional way. The system has been used to create the digital backdrops in TV shows like The Mandalorian and Ahsoka. The Third Floor, a visual effects company based in LA, has worked alongside Industrial Light & Magic to create those Star Wars shows. Third Floor has been around for 20 years. We started out in OpenGL 1.0 era, which feels like ancient history now. We were always trying to be like, okay, what's the most stripped down version that we could use in whatever package we were using at the time to try to be as fast as possible. But then we started experimenting with Game Engine and various options in the 2010s. And really just as Unreal like matured in the mid 2010s, we started getting really excited about moving into that platform and really dove all in for uh, Mandalorian in 2019 is when we like made the big shift. We have been able to see through a few technical innovations and a few firsts that I think are going to have a lot of impact on the way uh, television and movies are made moving forward. Star Wars may be in a galaxy far, far away, but the third floor recently took Unreal Engine to a whole new frontier. The new movie from Prey director Dan Trachtenberg, Predator Killer of Killers, was entirely animated using Unreal Engine 5. Our particular approach was that we really wanted to lean into moving concept art. We wanted everything to be hand painted. We wanted to be brought, we brought together all these incredible artists from around the world and got them to start painting backgrounds, characters, props, you know, everything. And we just used Unreal to ingest that and put that into all of our assets. We used a real time compositing system to start, you know, doing each of these passes to make all those layers blend together. So, really, I would say that it was the flexibility of the engine that allowed us to really push that particular look that we were going for. One of the most impressive sequences in Predator Killer of Killers replicates the one-shot style of filmmaking. In it, we see a Viking woman, Ursa, fight against an array of enemies in one continuous, unbroken shot. This style is among the most complex approaches to create in live-action filmmaking, demanding extensive rehearsal, strict timing, and pinpoint precision. It's a different story when animating in Unreal, where there's no chance of an actor flubbing their lines or missing their mark. But that's not to say that there aren't any challenges. 
A lot of stuff going on. We had 98 characters all fighting in that scene. And so we have, you know, maybe just a handful of animators. So juggling how to choreograph them is incredibly complex. The animators actually film themselves doing little snippets of the fights, but then they have to put it together like a giant puzzle piece. But then you also have to animate the camera in a way that feels like you're really there. So much thought goes into it, and it, it took months, but um, we love the result. But while creating a one-shot, or indeed any shot in Unreal, is far from a walk in the park, there are many tools available in the engine that help ease those production woes. Ambitious projects can be made relatively quickly, which in turn can reduce budgets. Unreal does let you work in parallel, so that you have teams working in, you know, a bit more simultaneous, which does speed up the production and time is money, so that does help. But the other thing is the real-time feedback, you know, that, for example, the lighting comp team, typically shots in an animated feature might take an artist, say, one, two, even three weeks for one shot. Our quota, once the team got going, was four to five hours per shot per artist for first pass, which is just insanely quick, and it allowed them to tweak to the camera to get in a really incredible result. So it's really the time. It's the fact that you can go faster allows you to, to save costs overall. This cost-saving element is unlocking new filmmaking possibilities. Rebellion Developments, the owner of Judge Dredd and the wider 2000 AD comics universe, is currently developing a new Rogue Trooper movie. Set on the violent battlefields of the far future, this comic adaptation would likely cost hundreds of millions of dollars to produce if made using more traditional filmmaking techniques. But Rogue Trooper is not a live-action movie, nor a classically developed CGI film. Instead, it is being made in Unreal Engine 5. I think we're significantly cheaper. Because we're on an indie budget, we've done it on an indie budget. You know, we by necessity had to manage the cash flow because it's us making this. It's not a big studio doing it. But this perhaps takes some of the shackles of a limited budget off people who want to make something indie and creative. I, I hope it does. I hope it's the beginning of something really exciting. While Rebellion is the custodian of 2000 AD, the company is best known for developing video games, such as the Sniper Elite series. And so come the big question. Without the Hollywood-grade tools used by the likes of Industrial Light and Magic, will Rogue Trooper just be a feature-length video game cutscene? Will it look like a video game? No, one of the key points was to make it very much not look like a video game. So we have professional movie makers working on this. We have cinematographers. We have movie lighting experts. We, we've got all the people with the qualifications to make the best possible movies. Among those people with qualifications is Duncan Jones, director of Moon, Source Code, and the CGI effects heavy Warcraft movie. With Jones at the helm and a small army of professional filmmakers backing him, him, Rebellion has all the people required to ensure Rogue Trooper doesn't look like it's running on an Xbox. It shares similarities with making top-notch, top-quality cutscenes, but it also diverges quite dramatically as well in, in, in terms of the way you have to storytell. So yes, absolutely, we are not restricted to the optimizations that we have to do for computer games. With CG of any sort is you can have a very meaty computer taking, you know, 18 hours to render a single frame if you really want to. Rogue Troopers cast, which features Anirin Bernard, Hayley Atwell, Sean Bean and Matt Berry among others, is being brought to life with the aid of MetaHuman Rigs, a character creation and motion capture technology built into Unreal Engine 5. I do see a lot of potential with metahumans because you know, I think this is the core conceit, at least from my perspective, is that so many times you're making CG humans for, for whatever reason. They might be just digi doubles for a stunt, or they might be your lead character. Kind of doing the same work over and over again, at least on a base level. And I think that metahumans is like this enormous shortcut because they're like, okay, a lot of that work is now already built into this tool. So I think that that allows you know, like a young filmmaker by themselves to, ha you know, to jump right into a character that's already at this very high level. For Rebellion and its animation partners at Treehouse Digital, features like MetaHumans and the visual effects that Unreal Engine 5 is capable of have been key to bringing the strange world of Rogue Trooper to life. There don't appear to be many limitations with what the tech can do, so it comes down to creative choice at the end of the day. What we're not trying to do is make it look exactly the same as it would if we were filming live action. You know, we're, we're taking advantage of the digital space so we can do more 
more with volumetric fogging, for example, than you could in real life. But we still want the reality of the of the performances from the cast, and they were all absolutely excellent. You know, their personal humanity needs to come through for us to to tell this story well. While Unreal Engine may still predominantly be known for its use in video game development, it's clear that it has quietly spread its reach throughout many other sectors of the entertainment industries. The galaxy of Star Wars is practically united by Unreal, with shows, games and theme park rides all making use of the engine. Elsewhere, we're seeing the tech used in many filmmaking corners, from the pre-planning of the desert sequences in Dune Part 2 to entire movies created in the engine, such as Predator Killer of Killers and Rogue Trooper. One thing seems certain, that list will only keep on growing as new studios and new creatives begin to experiment with Epic Games' versatile technology. Want to boost your game collection and get a great selection of titles every month? Well, now you can with Humble Choice. Every month you get a hand-picked mix of awesome PC games and this month's lineup is now live. Running through to August 5th, you can grab Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader, Damon X Machina, Death's Door, Cat Quest 3, and much more. Whether you're building your backlog or discovering something new, now is the perfect time to pick up these fan favorites. And don't forget that every purchase helps a good cause, with this month's Humble Choice membership supporting Covenant House. Get a curated mix of PC games every month, all for just $14.99 a month. Skip a month or cancel any time, and know that 5% of your membership goes to charity. So if you love discovering great games and doing a little good while you're at it, check out Humble Choice today.